start this video by thanking all of my viewers. I've shared some pretty sensitive topics over the years from Manzer's birth to Miss Kitty's death and now with Nika being sick. I'm really overwhelmed by the love and support and guidance I've received from so many people. It takes a lot for me to share these videos with the entire world and I truly appreciate your kindness. Today I'm going to talk about Nika's diagnosis and if you did not see the previous video showing what was going on with her during her vet exam, I encourage you to stop watching right now and check out that video. I have it listed in the description below and also in the comments. Moving on to what's going on with Nika, a couple of days after her vet exam, the vet called me to inform me that Nika has an E. coli infection in her uterus. The vet informed me of the next steps, which would be putting Nika on antibiotics first, and then she would also need to have a small procedure done. Basically, after Nika had Manzer, her body changed quite a bit and things sort of shifted. So when she would poop, the manure would go down and into her vagina, and that's what caused the E. coli infection in her uterus. So now I'm going to show you... <laughs> I'm going to show you how I gave Nika her antibiotics because that can be very tricky for some horses and basically <laughs> administering any kind of medication to horses can be incredibly tricky and we jump through all kinds of hoops to get them to take what they need to feel better. So and then I'm going to explain a little bit about the procedure and what's going to happen next. Nika will be on antibiotics for two weeks. So she's going to be getting this many pills, 16 of these pills, morning and night for two weeks. And hopefully it clears up this nasty E. coli infection that she has in her uterus. This is a feed bag that I bought from Jane of All Trades. And it's so awesome because I just have her grain in the bag. And then I'm going to take her antibiotics and I'm going to just toss them right in top of the bag. And it goes on our grain. And she will gobble this all up. No problem. It is the easiest way to give horses antibiotics. I was planning to have to smash them up and administer them in a syringe orally, so I'm really happy that I can do it this way. that it was as easy as it was to give Nika those antibiotics because she is such a fussy horse. So sometimes, I mean, if we put vitamins in her grain, she'll pick around it. So to get her to eat 16 of those pills was just a really, really, really big deal, especially with how huge they were. So the alternative would have been smashing them up, putting them in a syringe and orally having to give them to her. And then she would have just started to resent me. So that's never a route that I want to go. I would much rather do it you know, as simple as it was and have her just gobble them up. So the next step is the vet is going to come out. She's going to give Nika a sterile saline rinse. She's going to sort of flush, her out, flush out her uterus. And then she's going to perform what's called a Kaslik procedure. And with that, um, I want to warn you right now that it's a bit gruesome. I am going to post it. I'm going to show everything. But I actually had to, at one point, walk away because it was a little bit much for me to even take. So I just left my camera on the tripod and I walked away. So editing it is going to be interesting. But um, so here's my disclaimer now that if you are squeamish at all, if you don't like blood, I would not recommend watching that procedure. So that's going to be coming to you next. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your continued thoughts on Nika. I really appreciate all of your support, and so does she. So stay tuned. That video will be coming to you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.